to RT10 News. I'm Laura Delaney and here's your weekly entertainment news update. It looks like Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost can't get enough of each other as the trio have reunited for a third film, The World's End. But where did director Edgar get inspiration for this boozy film? Harry Giran has this one. I had written a film when I was 21 that I never made that was about teenagers on a pub crawl based on a real experience that I had. I started chewing on it on the Hot Fuzz press tour actually. I've been thinking about it and then saying to Simon, saying, hey, I wrote this script when I was 20, but maybe what the film should actually be about is the older guys trying to do it again. And then I think because like, uh, what's nice about it is you've got like five guys, four of whom are grown ups and one who refuses to not be a teenager. And by dragging them back to their hometown to finish this pub crawl, he's also trying to drag them back in time to when they were all adolescents. Harry also caught up with Simon and Nick to find out about the famous fight scene. We were trained to a certain point and then the good thing about that is on set you're, they can say, hey, why don't we try this? And you say, yeah, let's do it, let's shoot it. Yeah. Especially with me with these big, you know, Hulk hands with, for bar, bar stools for Hulk hands. You actually, it's not like when you're having a, a fight on camera with someone and you put your fist here and the camera looks like you've hit them. You can't do that with Hulk hands. You actually have to hit them. Uh, and so the first kind of two, three times we did it, you can see that I was pulling it and I wasn't going for it. But then the more and more you do it, the more you go for it. The World's End hit cinemas on Friday. Ireland is feeling extra good this week as Michael Bublé has taken over the O2 in Dublin for five nights. Suzanne Byrne went along to the Irish press conference to find out what Michael had to say about his new single, Close Your Eyes. When I wrote the song, I sat at the piano in my house and I thought about um, I thought about my wife and, and uh, the support she's given me and the strength that she gives me and, and, um, and I, I even thought about family, you know, my, my mother and, and the strength of women but as the song started to, uh, to come to life and I started to write the lyrics and, and really get into the song, it became far more about relationships. You can check out the full video of Michael's single Close Your Eyes and RT10 right now. We always love hearing about up and coming Irish actors and this week 16 year old Kelly Thornton crossed our radar. Sarah McIntyre asked the teen about being scouted for Pat Schwartz's new film Life's a Breeze. I was walking down the road on Grafton Street and uh, a woman asked me if I'd like to audition for uh, a new film and I was like okay. I went to two auditions and then I went back a third time and it was between me and one other girl and they just told me that they liked to have me for the part and I was very excited. Life Sabrees is out on Friday and we also look forward to seeing Kelly's debut in the fourth series of Love Hate. He may have a hit record called Live While We're Young, but it looks like Mullingar man Niall Horan fails to lead by example in his new video, Best Song Ever. Check out these pics of the Wundee star looking like a middle-aged businessman. You can check out Wundee's Twitter account to discover a new band character each day this week. Well, that's the latest happenings from the world of entertainment. For your daily showbiz fix, keep clicking on RT10 News, and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.